Though he has not broken through to the next realm, Yang Kai now has allies, friends. His settlement has grown much larger, and he hopes more will come. Strength is the only absolute in this world. Strength of oneself and strength of those you trust. Welcome to episode 3 of Amazing Cultivation Simulator, Tutorial Gameplay Roleplay. Today we'll be looking to assist Jankai or one of his allies with breaking through the next realm, and maybe, if we are lucky, even enter the world map to treasure hunt. This place is looking a lot prettier now than it's looked ever before, it's so good. Um, this area right here is going to be designated for inner disciple training. So anyone who breaks through will be able to train in here. And anyone who's outer disciple, they haven't broken through, they're still foundation training, will train over here. Uh, neither is a bad spot. It's just, of course, one's going to be indoor and one is outdoor. So what we may end up doing is when they wake up, we want to feed this to Musing and see if we can get him broken through immediately at the start of this episode. So we can kind of go over... Um, what happens with breakthroughs and how that works out. While everyone is sleeping, let's go over the diagram here. You'll see it right up here at the top, it's always there. This is going to show you as your person progresses um, when they're cultivating certain elements, or if you have them cultivating certain elements, what elements is strong against what and what's weak against what. So this will help you out on, uh, it's kind of like Pokemon. Um, weaknesses and strengths, so that's going to be important as well whenever you go into combat. Lost Scrolls. Rumors about a Lost Scroll located in Wild South are spreading throughout the continent. It's said it contains secrets that may greatly help cultivators, and such kind of treasures are not left alone long. Mm, we still can't do anything about that. Oh, he can be promoted. Let's go. Okay. Alright, so we'll let him cultivate that up and do a breakthrough. Hopefully he succeeds. Someone Among Us has broken through. Oh, the goal of the episode is done. This one can suddenly feel a uh, strong energy between heaven and earth. Key, the gate of cultivation has finally opened for us. Key has become visible. You can establish a sect now. Let's be high heaven sect. Uh, in the series, Yankai on um, his sect initially was named High Heaven Pavilion. Then it was destroyed, and later on he founded his own sect called High Heaven Sect. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be High Heaven Sect here. There we go. All right, we need someone to become our sect leader. All right, you can choose a sect leader through sect structure in this uh, sect menu. We live in seclusion here, trying to restart our cultivation. And we also established a little sect of our own. Will this beginning of a new legend? Unlock decorations, unlock more buildings. Fantastic. Disciple list will show you, of course, your disciples, if they're outer, inner, um, whether they're the leader. The sect structure will allow you to establish your leader here when you click it. I'm not going to touch that right now. I don't need it. And then once you get bigger, you can establish a branch sect off in another area. So that's also pretty cool. And then, of course, your basic information. Anonymous, of course, will be reputation with other sects. Unknown. Essentially, this little uh, blue area is whether you're good or evil which will, of course, impact your choices, development, and what other sects think of you. And then, auspicious impacts all aspects of your sect life. So, we'll kind of walk through that little by little as we go forward as well. So, next thing we're going to look at is going to be the cultivation tab right here. Now that he has ascended, um, we'll hit inspiration. So, you'll have this section here. Once you come in, it'll give you options. These are basically bonuses you can get on top of yourself. So, key shaping is the first level. Alright, so this is where kneezing is at key shaping. Then core shaping, golden core, primordial spirit, and then demigod comes last. So, you'll get certain points as you go along as they train. So, his inspiration is at 1312. So, we'll throw it here. We'll get two of you to be broken through to start training up. So, uh, let's hope Yang Kai can break through successfully. All right, so Yang Kai has broken through. So, inspiration. Uh, inspiration is way too low to get the lunar form. So, we'll hold off on that until we do have it. And as we get excess points, we'll start spitting it over here on the character skill. Sect. 
Sect structure, sect leader, Yang Kai. Boom. Yang Kai has become our sect leader. This one definitely will lead all of us into immortality. What? You're trying to break through again? Holy smokes. Um. Alright, so once we get enough key, Yang Kai will attempt to break through yet again. Holy crap. This is actually how he is in the series. Like in the series, this man will be breaking through like a freaking monster. All right, that's fine. Uh, he needs to go into mind. We'll put him into mind. Get his mental mentality back. Now he's just gonna be up here chilling. <laughs> oh, there is a box we could get, but we're not gonna worry about the box right now. Oh yeah. Oh wait, they've broken through, which means they should be able to. Yes, they can equip these as artifacts. Nice. So world. Sect, Tayo Stone Casket is where we want to go since this is, I believe this is something we want to do because it has to do with our fallen sect from episode one. All right, we'll go on an adventure. Yep, Yang Kai will go by himself. Once we get another person, we can start sending two of our cultivators out. As for now, uh, Nizing will be just chilling. Uh, Shapeshift, we don't need to worry about shapeshifting for quite a while until we know he's ready to do it. We don't want him to fail and then, you know, that, that would be really bad for him to fail. Uh, to give you a reason why shapeshifting would be bad, so his half-human forms will face shapeshifting tribulations after a period of time. Those who succeed will shapeshift into human forms, while those who fail will be reversed to their original appearances. The more intelligence shards uh, there are, the sooner the tribulation would come. So as of right now, we have 220 days to prepare for the shapeshifting. Yang Kai came here and found traces of many incidents, so they decided to focus on managing one of them. Collect resources or tie a stone sect. So this is what we came for, option one, so let's click it. Yang Kai arrived at uh, Nangping village and learned about Zhang Erwa's dwelling place from some villager. As for the casket, charisma, Yang Kai exhibited the bearing of coming from a household of immortals. Zhang Erwa's family uh, defied him and reverently presented Yang Kai with a stone casket. After the fact, Nangping village passed around all types of legends around the realm about immortals. Stone casket times one, 136 points sex reputation, sect reputation for um, high heaven sect. Beautiful. Yang Kai has returned and there's the stone. What the heck is that? Anyways, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Mm. News about a natural oddity being seen in Central Plain surfaced yet again and spread throughout the cultivation world. And such treasures are not likely to remain in the same place for much time. Of course, but we got we got other things we gotta work on right now. Yeah, you're never gonna be able to get everything out of this game. There's no way. A group of bandits who make a living robbing people across cities and towns um, have come to attack you. Yay! Where are they? Oh, buddy! Yang Kai! Go wreck him! And go wreck him! Alright, we got our two cultivators heading off to fight. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy. They already killed him. We couldn't even see him kill him. That's how strong they are. Oh, what? <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, let's just go search him and see what he has on him. See what's in it here. This is the chest that the hunter Zhang Erwa from Naipang Village got off of the corpse at the foot of Mount Full Moon. There is a long sword crossed with a liquor gorg on the exterior. This is the mark of a fellow disciple back in the Taiyo sect. Yankai remembered the fellow disciple and how he was as a person. Oh, so someone else did survive. Yang Kai opened the stone chest gingerly and found a number of manuals inside and a number of elixirs and lumicor. Ooh! Records of the Immortals, Volume 1, Common Elixir Recipes, Golden Book of these uh, Six Etiquettes and Five Directions, Heal Powder, Spirit Powder, Rebirth Pill, and Lumicor. Nice. So it's an Otherworld Rift. Space here has been shattered due to a battle between powerful sages and has transformed into a stable otherworld rift over the years, allowing items or cultivator 
from other planes passing from time to time. So there might be cultivators too that come through and items. Oh, that's going to be worth watching. Who knows what's going to pop its way through over here. It's been more than half a month now. I wonder if the criminals who attacked Tayo sect have left. Perhaps I should go back to the Tayo sect and take a look and see if there's any clues. That'll likely happen in the next episode. River, or a pond, or something. We can go fishing soon. I want to go fishing. I like fishing. Blinkwing is fighting this male bull. Um, he's winning. Uh... Okay. Oh no. No. Blank Wang. Oh, he's unconscious. No. Oh no. Okay. 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 Uh, that's not good. We need help. <laughs> uh, visit from the Merchant Union. G. Curio from the Merchant Union comes to visit and will stay here for one day. Well, uh, if you want to come over and help us get up, that would be fabulous, but don't see that being a thing. Oh, see, this is what I was concerned about. Yang Kai arrived at Alchemist Peak and recalled that there is supposed to be a spirit root that grows here. After searching around, it turned out there was an area reputable with Earth Key. There was something out of the ordinary here. Search for the spirit root. Yang Kai sent something in the air like he shared origins with it somehow. Unfortunately, it seemed that his luck was not up to snuff. In the end, he was only able to return empty-handed. Dang, a complete failed mission there. And um, Lang here has a, lo a broken bone and his right upper arm muscles are cut. He's so damaged. Yeah, get out. Yeah, okay, good deal, good deal. We'll worry about your sword later. Oh, yeah, his injury is deteriorating. He may be recovering a little bit on health. I hope you're getting help there. Anyways, uh, plagues wreak havoc. Z, uh, Zing passed by a town and discovered that plagues wreak havoc in this place. At the entrance of the city, it seems that there are um, some cultivators helping out the townspeople to control the plague. The situation keeps getting worse, though. It seems like they won't be able to control it. Let's see... Help out and sincerely key shaping. No, we want to help out. We're going to help out. Uh, Neezing sheathed the artifact and fell down through the clouds. Drawing near, it became clear that it was a group of sunshade adobe disciples. Nee stated the reason for being there. The sunshade adobe disciples expressed their thanks. They combined their powers together in one effort, and finally they were able to rein in the spread of the plague. So we got plus five favor with the... Uh, Sunshade Adobe, 30 points sex rep reputation, and 20 points sex good reputation. Now if we can get our guy healed up here and hopefully he doesn't die, what are you going to get? Are you getting some heal stuff? Yeah. A thick fog has suddenly started to form. Hopefully it's just fog and nothing bad. Okay, cool. Um, Where are you going? Oh, you're getting some water. Okay, well you're still working. Look, you can take the day off, dude. Okay, so he is healing. So he did take some, some medicines over here, so that's good. He was able to heal himself up a little bit with Manifesting Cave. It is said that a mysterious cave belonging to an unknown ancient immortal is manifesting itself at Wild South. The owner of the cave was a master of artifact crafting who set up countless booby traps and warding spells with his skill. One could not survive and explore the cave without being proficient in artifact crafting. Manifesting Cave, Go Adventure. Neat, yep. And then we're gonna hit up Colorful Mountain first here. Adventure, Yankai, get out there. A refugee escaping the war is passing by and she wishes to join you. Heck yeah, you? Yeah, go accept that. Oh no, are you asleep? Oh come on, she's trying to join us. Oh. Um, collect resources. When Yang Kai arrived at this place, it turned out that there was a lot around that could be gathered. Collect. Oh, I guess there was nothing there we could actually get. Fish and rabbit meat. You know what? We need food, so I guess we'll call that, um, win enough. Accepted. Let's go. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode there. 
Um, next episode, we'll see the results of Nizing's adventure. And then we'll look at breaking Yankai through to the next realm. And also doing the Tyosect uh, storyline. Uh, again, I'm Happy Hub. Stay safe, stay happy. See you next time.